Yo, it's your boy Lilo Jones, and you watching Lilo in the Garden. I'm in the garden, chilling in the garden, wilding in the garden. Looking for me, I'm in the garden. I'm in the garden, I'm in the garden. Can't find me in the street, but you might find me in the garden. I'm in the garden, chilling in the garden. man we back in shadyville with it today you did what i'm saying and we ain't playing no games it's early in the morning well not too early about 8 45 8 50, something like that but we about to go ahead and make it do what it does in the orchard patch you did what i'm saying i told y'all that we're gonna put those uh fruit trees over here and yes we are about to as y'all can see i done cleaned it out you know what i'm saying Got my little flags in there. Y'all know them flags. Let me know where we gonna go. You did what I'm saying? We gonna have two over here. We gonna have two over that way. And we gonna have one right here. You did what I'm saying? With the fruit tree, with the fruit trees, you have to have multiple. Meaning that you have to have either the same variety, but definitely the same type of fruit, the same type of species, so that they can then cross pollinate. You did what I'm saying? So over here. We do have uh, the pink lady apples and some uh, moon glow pears. You did what I'm saying? We about to put them over there in the little orchard patch and make it do what it does. You did. Lilo really be farming, that's the deal. Another way of life that you can live and have true freedom and just chill. Lay it back with my feet up. The field to make it flip in them banks. Gotta have backup so your ship don't sink. You gotta go get it. Increasing them profits by adding them digits. Stay on your mission, your grind be relentless. You can have what you want, everybody will witness. Stand firm, make it in the soil. My flame hot to make water fall. Shining brighter than tinfoil. Game too fresh, should have never small. All joys, I have no toys. Massive gas, cause I change all. Money growing and no flowing. Now. Before we put these fruit trees in the ground, smash down on that subscribe button and tell a friend to tell a friend to smash down on that subscribe button too. I gotta get it, I gotta get it. Yeah, I'm on my way. It's good money on the line and I gotta get paid. I gotta get it, I gotta get it. Yeah, I'm on my way. It's good money on the line and I gotta get paid. Holla at me, I know what your garden need. I can make your garden dreams a reality. Holla at me, I know what your farm need. I can make your farming dreams a reality. 
365, I'm coming live from the field with it. Getting my hands dirty, helping things grow prolific. The way I spread this knowledge, people say that I'm gifted. And when they retain that knowledge, for me it's so uplifting. But I gotta make it all turn to some pesos. Cause them bills that are coming in, so I need a bankroll. So I'm always on my grind, rain, sleet, or shine. Thinking the positive ways I can increase my dimes. It's like I'm always on the run, going here and there. And doing there. consultations and installs on my everywhere. But I gotta stay focused so I can reach the masses. So I can teach them how to grow and get them down with this plaque. I gotta get it, I gotta get it. Yeah, man, y'all see it. Just did that thing. You did what I'm saying? Drop the fruit tree dirt babies off in the ground. Then we hit them with some of that wood ash. And then we also put in some of that good rainwater. That rainwater, I collected that in the little baby swimming pool that uh, I used to raise up the little baby chickens that were out there. Well, that were at the outdoor fresh farm last year. You did what I'm saying. And I think I got some videos of me and Maul and some pictures of us playing with the chickens inside. Check those out. And you are cherished for life. But at the same time, you gotta get this knowledge too. So when you're by yourself, you can make it do what it do. Plus, I got a lot of game for my boss. I done put the chicken to sleep like a little baby. Look at him. He dead sleep. Mm -hmm. I told you. Kicking it in my hand. Chicken ain't doing that. Oh, oh, I done woke the chicken up. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, y'all see it, man. We just end up playing with the little chickadees, making it do what it does. You did what I'm saying? But now it's time for tea time, so I can really break it down to you and let you know what it be about. You did what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and hop into that, and we can make it do what it does in this explanation thing. I can make your farming dreams a reality. About the bag. We growing and getting, we growing and getting, we growing and getting there. We growing and getting, we growing and getting, we growing and getting there. We growing with knowledge to get to that money. It's tea time. Yeah, man. It's tea time. After we just made it do what it does, it's nice to have a nice, not too hot cup of this good green tea with elderberry in it you know what i'm saying that elderberry is real good for colds and all type of stuff like that they make cough syrup out of it teas out of it and it's very good for your immune system so yeah we rocking with that elderberry today you did what i'm saying y'all see we just put them fruit trees off in the game you know what i'm saying got out this thing real early like you know what i mean so we can minimize the stress on the trees you did I uh, end up putting in some soil at the bottom. Then I put some peat moss in there, but I didn't put a lot because I thought about it as I was doing it, that peat moss is good for helping to lower pH and make soil more acidic. So what I should have been doing was putting them over there in the blueberries, but not also on the fruit tree. But y'all also saw what I did too, was I layered some more soil on top and then also added some um, wood ash to it and we already know that that wood ash will help alkaline the soil because it has lime in it, potassium, and all that good stuff. So we'll see what happens. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's going to be too major, too much issues, anything like that because the fruit trees are still young. You did what I'm saying? So they should be able to bounce back and make it do what it does. You did. So that's a good thing about that. Um, we also, uh, you saw how I made basically like a little moat. You know what I'm saying? Inside of the soil around the fruit tree after I packed it in there real good. And you saw what that moat did. That moat then sucked up the water and basically didn't allow the water to escape. And it funneled the water right down to those tree roots. You did what I'm saying? So hopefully that, um, like I said, we didn't disturb anything too much because, like I said, those uh, two uh pink lady apples they got flowers on them you did what i'm saying and if they cross pollinate and do all like that that mean we're gonna have some apples this year you did so hopefully that'll come on through there and make it do what it does you did what i'm saying um you saw how that uh what what is that that uh oak tree that red oak how its roots really was just running you did what i'm saying 
um, if you look at a tree, the tree has what's called a drip line. A drip line is basically the length of which the limbs and the leaves and everything on the tree extend out because that's where basically the tree will start blocking the water or what have you from getting down to the bottom and that's where the water will start dripping around the tree so the roots of the trees normally are three to five times longer and wider than a tree's drip line because it has to pull in good nutrition from everywhere soak up as much water as it can and it has to anchor itself in the soil so that it won't be so top heavy and then fall over but see being that we're in the city and us humans have then created a lot of concrete areas uh sewers uh driveways roads pathways all those things those hinder the tree roots from growing so that basically is what happened to that big oak tree that i had right there in the front and it killed it so most of the tree was dying or dead already so in order to save the house and all that type of stuff we had to take it down but i do have the wood and all this wood bark that's on the ground and all this good uh wood and sawdust that you see that came from that big tree and i'm just letting that break back down so it can add some good nutrition for the soil for the microbiology and all the little critters that run around in there so then they can have a healthier place and a safer place to proliferate you did what i'm saying and evolve and do their thing so even though i had to get rid of one tree we planted five trees and we got more uh blueberry bushes to go too so yeah man you gotta balance that thing out you know what i'm saying it's a give and take situation and we already basically unbalanced with this nature thing anyway so i'm just trying to do my part to help balance it back out teach the knowledge to you so you can then make it do what it do wherever you at and grow your own food be sustainable and be one with nature you did what i'm saying so yeah man that's what we just did today now let me go ahead and run it down to you. Make sure you go check out that Amazon shop. You did you know what I'm saying? Y'all know we got all that good drip on there from the canisters and the survival tools to the gadgets and gadgets like the watches and the stuff on the cameras all the way down to some jewelry, the clothes, the pants, you know what I'm saying? You can get it right there and get it delivered straight to your door for sure. You did you know what I'm saying? No plan, no games. Go ahead and check out that Amazon thing. You did you know what I'm saying? Then go ahead and make sure you beam up that streaming. You know what I'm saying? For them dope tracks that you hear in the background. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and beam that up and make it do what it does. You did you know what I'm saying? And then last but not least, make sure you go follow me at Lilo underscore Jones and at Outdoor Fresh Farm so you can be in tune and see all some of that good dope stuff that be going on during the week that I don't have time to show y'all because it just be busy 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 like case in point I'm about to show you right after this I had to go catch a snake this week you did what I'm saying one of my clients had a snake in the house and they weren't about that you did so I had to go in there and make it do what it does and it was a king snake so I bought that thing back over to Shadyville and released it out there in the back you did what I'm saying so it can live its life and continue its mission on this earth you did go ahead and kill some poisonous snakes because they eat them go ahead and kill some other snakes because they eat them go ahead and kill the rats and some other little vermins because they eat them too so they got a mission so i just wanted that snake to be able to live survive and thrive so it can complete its mission so check that video out too you did what i'm saying now y'all be easy and we'll catch y'all next time peace Y'all, <laughs> yeah, that's it right there. I think I like that. I like that elderberry. Yes, sir. So I grow whatever the produce I grow. I know it tastes better. All that I need is a hoe and a shovel. I drop it in time and come up on schedule. No need to panic. Yeah. When you grow your food organic. Yeah. Cause after you grow your own. Yeah. You'll feel the satisfaction. Yeah. Of produce piling faster. Yeah. Then you can empty out your basket. Yeah. Now keep growing. Yeah. Until you get it mastered. Hey man, I met my player partner how right. He had to hit me up real quick on the line and said it's an emergency. So let me show you what the emergency is, right? I came in here, 
Look what's going to do. Y'all see it? Yeah. That's a black snake right there. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do more powder though. Take that back to the west side. You know what I mean? We need that. You know what I mean? That that good good. That keep them rats away, them other snakes away, because I believe that is a king snake. You did what I'm saying? So I'm about to go ahead and tally up, you know what I'm saying? Get this snake up out of here. Put it right here in my little trusty dusty old pillowcase. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't Yeah, man, we done made it back to the west side, the shady villa. Y'all see what it is, you know what I'm saying? Got that snake off in here. You did what I'm saying? And like I told you, we're gonna go ahead and release this thing because, like I said, these king snakes eat poisonous snakes, other snakes, and rodents. So he got a mission to fulfill, and we're gonna help him, you know what I'm saying? We just relocate him to another situation, but we're gonna give this snake right here the chance to make it do what it does. You did. 